This is my second opportunity to run for the town board supervisor position. The first time I ran, I ran because I saw that there was an inability for the town to really communicate directly with people in the, in the community, the residents, and especially the business. If you were to speak to many of the business operators, they have a difficult time trying to work with the, with the town. And it ranges from not only the town hall, but also the building department and so forth. I think that I can bring a professionalism, I listen, I evaluate situations, and I come up with an action plan. I think there's always two sides to the story. Not necessarily one side is correct all the time. And we should learn how to work with the business community. We try to promote businesses in this area. Now, I chose to, to run again because I thought I did an extremely good job of campaigning last time. I received 21% of the vote. Considering someone that had just moved into the community less than six months, I'm very proud of that. Since then, I've been active in the community. I've attended uh, the town board meetings. I've also attended Chapter 20 meetings for the Lakes Committee. I've also attended the budget meetings. If anything, it was a learning process, and, but I was also active in all of those groups and committees. Top priority would be able to communicate and establish communications with the residents and with the business community. I have thought about putting together uh, roundtables. Uh, in some communities, they may call them Chamber of Commerce meetings or open discussions. I think that it's best to bring as many people as possible to start to share ideas, find out what we're doing as a town is right, what we're doing as a town is wrong, uh, to get the input from the people that are out there trying to make business in this community and what can we do to, to improve upon that environment for them. What can we do to promote the town? And I think some of the business leaders that we do have have some very good ideas. So what I would do is begin the communication channel with them and setting up meetings with the business community. Now, I think that when you begin to have meetings such as this, they have to be on a regular basis. They have to be done in a timely fashion and they have to be done with enough fans notice. Just to have a meeting so that you can tick it off on a list that I had a meeting is not the right approach. You need to promote those meetings and you need to make it important enough for everyone to be there. Afterwards, when you come to consensus of that meeting, you have to put those actions in place. You just cannot have a meeting, then take the information and throw it into the corner. You must react upon it. You must stay in focus with it. And keep it in a timely fashion. All too often, governments drag it out, drag it out, drag it out, and nothing gets done. Or, by the time they do something, it's too late. Or it's no longer pertinent and another issue comes up. But we need to stay on task, we need to go forward, we need to promote the town. But I have, I have passion for what I do. I've always had that. Uh, in my, my job, in my family, and with the town board supervisor position. I think that we tend to have a tendency of forgetting why we're really out there. What is an elected official? An elected official is someone that listens to the people and goes forward with those people not believing that they know best. I'm an elected official, I have to listen to people. It's all too often that someone will come into office and now they'll believe they know the answer to everything. They know everything that has to be done. That's not the case. We're all human beings. The really concern I have is that when someone comes into office and then they have another agenda. What do they want to do with their time when they're in office? My personal belief is we're all stewards of this property, of this earth, and I'd like to leave it in a better place than what I found it. So I think that that's the creed that I always follow, and when I go forward in my life, I want to follow it again and again. Anytime I've been anywhere in the world, I make certain that I try to leave it better than I found it. And I think I can do the same here in Salem. There are some issues that have come up, 
Some of them are very, very important. Mm -hmm. Some of them are still being dragged through the mud, but unfortunately there's not much we can do with it. But we've got to look forward. We've got to continue moving forward. I guess the best way to put it is you make the best of the situation. If you're going to just whine and cry about a situation, you're never going to get over it, you're never going to re get resolved, and you're never going to get out to the next situation. You're going to be stuck in the mud. Well, there is a couple of issues in the town that have been brought up, but unfortunately they've been passed. We've got to live with them. But we can still go forward, we can still try to maintain very good civil services, which is the most important issue for any small town, is the supply of services to the community. Everything else is just peripheral. But if we have the fire, the EMS, the highway department, and the administration department from the town providing those services to the community so that we can spur on growth, whether it's residential growth or commercial growth. That's really what the town should be doing.